Mic check. Mic check. Check one, two, three, four, five, seven. We don't turn the music. Turn the on. One, two, three, four. Jumps the fiends and steals all his rocks. Yo. Mike check. Welcome, welcome. And Mr. Mr. Scarface went up the block again. <laughs> check one. <laughs> I'm making a nigga rich. Fly, have it, have it, have it, I don't give up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. You are tuned in to the Undrafted All Stars Radio Show. I am your host. I am Big Sugar, aka Sugar Dolce the Great, aka Mr. Tell Your Friends About Me. I'm sitting here chilling in the hooch. With my co-host. What up, what up, what up? Q Mecca, two techs up. Face in the background, that's the energy we own. It's all face. Yeah. To my left is the other co-host. What up, your boy C418618. It's great. No hate, baby. Let's regulate. Yes, sir. C418 from the 618. Q Mecca, two techs up. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. No matter what it is, it's way bigger than sports up in here. Facts. Again, you are tuned into the Undrafted All Stars Radio Show, powered by the hottest new station in Las Vegas, the Hot 702.5 FM. Making radio great again, damn it. Yes, Download the 702, the Hot 702.5 app in the Apple Store or the Google Play Store to listen in and chat with us during the show. Everybody, we are currently taking call-in questions from listeners, 702-551-5261. Call in. Chop it up with us. Tell us what you think about anything. Your team, uh, Usher, Scarface being the top number one Southern rapper. That part. Anything James, all you need to know, Snake got you. First, unless he tell you the Cowboys don't trust that one. Hey, the rest I, of them you can if trust. If I say it, book it. <laughs> Again, you want merch? Hit me up. UndraftedAllStarGmail.com Give me your size, your color, <laughs> your name this time, please. <laughs> Thank you for everybody that already did it. It's on the way. It is on the way. Also, the Fantasy Football League. Same thing, undraftedallstargmail.com. We gonna hook it up. We already got a caller. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Come on, man. Where you at, Mouse? Caller, what's up? Caller. Hello. Hello, caller. This is seven oh six. This is my brother. What's up, Wolf? What's going on, my boy? What's up, man? <laughs> oh, man. What's, what's going up? on, bro? Chilly, man. I didn't want to call. How you doing, man? We can't hear you, Wolf. You must be in. You must got a T. You must got one of them Metro phones. <laughs> Get off the oh, Metro man. phone, Wolf. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Boy, I got joke, don't it? <laughs> he got joke, don't he? Uh, he the one, hey, he the one, he the one got that cricket phone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> What's going on? What's up, man? Doing? I'm all right, man. I'm calling down from Georgia, man, slash Alabama. Yes, you sir. already know what it is. That was Big Shook from, you know what I'm saying? That's my little brother, man, calling in. That's what's up. That's what's up, Wolf. Hey, you used to knock him out, didn't you? <laughs> no, he older than me, so he used to knock me out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell everybody that, man. We cool, we cool. <laughs> yeah, we, we cool now, you know what I'm saying? That's we cool my now. brother, man. man. My brother, BWE Entertainment out there in Phoenix City, Columbus area, by city. Man, he killed it out there. He still killed it, but my boy doing his thing. Love you, bro. Thanks Thank for too, calling man. in, bro. So we appreciate the support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got any questions? You got any comments? Who your team? Yeah. What's your team? 
Oh, my team, you know, I like Auburn, man. Fuck Alabama. <laughs> I like <laughs> Auburn. I go home every year, you know man. Well, Thanksgiving, because my mom's <laughs> birthday falls on Thanksgiving sometimes. Uh-huh. And the Iron Bowl is that Saturday. And we thought it's a big ass party down there every every weekend, Thanksgiving weekend for this. And we going again. Boss lady, I'm going <laughs> live down there this year, okay? <laughs> Are we going to go live down there? I'm trying to, bro. I'm trying to see if I can set it up for real. Okay, yeah, That's we can talk. do that, you know. Yeah, well, well, yeah, I'm about to get together now. We're finna go with Pete. We're about to go with Pete How now, man. They're chill. Tell Pete. No, this is my birthday do, weekend, man. We man. can talk, I, you know, later on. Let me know what's up, man. We can try to do this thing. For, I'm for real. Okay, yeah, this is my birthday weekend, so, you know, my birthday Monday. Monday, so. yeah, I know. I got you. Right. Have, happy a, have an early birthday, too, bro. Happy, happy early, early birthday. birthday. Enjoy yourself, yeah, man. I love you, man. Boy. Y'all, boy, keep doing y'all thing, man. You know yes, what I'm sir. saying? I'm going to show the support. I pass it out there. I come through the South. And we're going to keep it moving. Yes, yes sir. sir. Appreciate you. You got me going down there. I appreciate you, boy. I love you. Have a good day, boy. All right. Great one, keep brother. listening. Thank you. All right. Don't talk about Scarface. You yes, don't sir. know nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> Later, man. <laughs> All right, man. Later. Peace. That made my fucking day right there, bro. There you go. <laughs> I love that. I do that, man. Love that. Thank you, right. bro. So what we 702-551-5261. Call your asses in. And tell us what you think about the first topic of the day, which is. <laughs> we don't talk about a little, little basketball. We ain't talking about Kyrie Nim. We talking about somebody else. Sick of talking about their ass. <laughs> you might be talking, talking about your boy James Harden. James Harden took a pay cut. Two year deal with his 76 is worth 68.6. What the hell kind of pay cut did he take? Right. You get, oh, getting 30. <laughs> You're getting 30 something a year, bro. 33 boy. million the first year, 35 uh-huh. the second year. Where your pay cut at, bro? So he went from 72 million to 60. <laughs> he gave me aging that part. <laughs> Punk ass. Hey, I ain't mad at him. Get your money, but Still y'all ain't going to do shit. <laughs> y'all going to be in the same spot, losing hold, to them hold winners. Hold the same raggedy ass beat LA signs and lose <laughs> <those> again. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> But we glad that you got your money. Now what you gonna do with it? Last year, or every year in the playoffs, we see you shrink. Choke a lot. So now we need to see you grow big and try to beat Giannis and them and the light skinned Tatums and all that. Yeah, yeah that ain't gonna happen. He, all they them gonna, people. <laughs> he, he gonna try to walk up against them and catch one of them old fashioned Blue Jays Red Sox beat down. But do it. 28 to 5. <laughs> Then he gonna blame it on Embiid. He ain't even as good as he used to be, bro. Embiid gonna hit him in the locker room. Bop! In my opinion. Embiid nah, might cry. He's sensitive. <laughs> they both sensitive. How you gonna have two sensitive? He needs to lay his ass in the paint. But two hey, sensitive. That's just on me. But he got his money, though. Oh, yeah. Hey, but I guess up. he did take a pay cut, though. He did. About 15 million? About, about 15, 12, 15 million. Yeah. The, the whole thing about it is, I guess he, he turned down that $47 million option last year. Mm-hmm. Right. But he got like what? 11, like 12, 20 something million more? Yeah, right, exactly. Right. So I was like, you know. So it, in theory, is it really a pay cut? It really ain't, but it just it looks just, like. It I think it was a pay cut from the super max. It right. seemed like yeah. it helped the team. It right. was like, we're going to restructure it to help us. Because right. an extra 15 million can do. Exactly. Yeah, you can do something with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, me, it's it 15 million. <laughs> <laughs> right. Where the extra 17 million going? Pay you will never see me. Oh, they gonna again. give it to Maxi. <laughs> you know, we gonna give this to Maxi because right. he, he was balling. He was the only one balling. That bar, so the only one. He he had heart. I like that young boy. I still want to. This if I had one question to ask James Hart, mm-hmm. what is the number, number one reason why you left the Nets? I want to hear his story. You no know, yeah, people saying it, too. but they, he never yeah, came out and said exactly he don't why. Talk about nothing. Right. He don't never talk. I guess that's I smart. Know. It, it had to have been a rift between either him and Kyrie Already. or him and KD. I it think Kyrie. it was him and KD. My opinion is him and KD over Kyrie. Oh, so, yeah. Mm. But still the same Kyrie, though. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, that might be true. Yeah, he yeah. probably like, man, why you down with the bullshit? <laughs> KD, <was> like, <laughs> KD probably like, you see how he played in the playoffs with LeBron? You ain't never done that. Sit your bitch ass down Boop. and pass the ball to him. Choke star. <laughs> What are you talking about? You so, ain't no champion, is you? We both champions. You ain't. So what you want to do? You want to argue with us or you want to win with now us? Now back up. That's back true. up. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on. Moving on. To, to the another next. contract. Kyler good? Murray got his. Oh, he did what he did. Five years. Did. $230 million extension with the Cardinals through 2028. 
160 million guaranteed. 160 million? 160 out of 230. I thought it was 105. 105. 160 is guaranteed. Damn. It went up to 160. That part. Oh, I ain't mad at that. Well, well he ain't winning shit. Look, next well, question. Boom. No, look, we was talking bad <laughs> about him. We was talking bad about him, how he went about it, but it worked. That's what's the social it, media error. But at the same time, uh, Acho pointed this out. Kingsbury and Murray got the same agent. Right. Mm -hmm. So it, everybody kind of knew it was going to work out anyway. Murray knew what he was doing. Right. I'm going to go to baseball. Hey, you ain't Bo Jackson, bro. <laughs> or Deion Sanders. Right. Miss me with that. What his last play, his last play in the NFL was what? Um, uh, INT in the end zone. Yeah. And they gave this food two hundred thirty million for that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it wasn't for that. It was for the potential. I told y'all it was about the potential, not, not what that you did okay. lately. It's what you gonna do. Absolutely. What we think you gonna do. Absolutely. Right. But he ain't. He hadn't won. He hadn't won anything. But my thing is like this: we gonna go to Lamar Jackson. Mm -hmm. They ain't even trying to pay him. He got an MVP. Right. No, you see, I don't think you're right when you say they're not trying to pay him. They're negotiating. Negotiating means we're going to try to lowball you. You got to come do what he did and get your, what you think you worth. That's a negotiation. Ain't, we trying ain't trying to, to pay him. Yes, but sir, if you lowballing him, then it's you're not trying, you're to, not pay trying him. to pay him. <laughs> that, but y'all don't understand. That's how negotiations work. Right? Y'all get, get, get that, saying. right? It I ain't we're going to give you everything you want. Now, I'll talk that in negotiation. You're politically correct today, y'all. Yeah, because y'all saying low ball or not trying to pay. Look, Lamar Jackson gonna get paid. You think they gonna let him go? They no, gonna let him go. But so they, they gonna they play they the gonna game. Play him for the season start. They gonna play the game as long as they needed to, just like everybody do. Okay, That's the but game. But you going into the games with a different mindset now because you don't have your money. Right. Not and it, then that doesn't build confidence see, in the player. See y'all talking. Uh, what's as, gonna do after the, when I'm when the season's over? What if I get are, hurt during the season? Y'all are talking as people who think who don't understand negotiations. Lamar Jackson, no. Y'all going to pay me. We got This is the game. This is the dance. I'm going to be in this dance with y'all. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I understand negotiations. You're getting that, bro. No. We understand Look, that. So why are you saying he mad for it? He ain't mad. He know this negotiations, <laughs> what saying, right? What we're saying is if you look at a player – that's gotten his money versus a player that hasn't gotten his money going into the season. It's a different Everybody mindset. Everybody that ain't won nothing has money. But that's the game. And at least you got Every an MVP. Yeah, but again, <laughs> if he thinks he's not going to get paid, I understand what y'all saying. He knows he's going to get paid. So why would he, he go into there with I know what you're saying. Kind he, of he is going to get paid. It's just when you get paid. I know, but if, if you know you're going to get paid, you know you're going to get paid. Why are you going to be mad? you okay, just playing so, the game. So let me ask you this question. <laughs> if you went to work and you didn't get paid on your normal pay date, would you but be you on know you're going to get paid, you're going to still get up and go to work? Would you be on a desk in the AR? But that's would you not say, the okay. same as what Answer they're the doing. Question, it's, bro. it's the same. Hold on. It's not the same. It's no, the same. I wouldn't be because work is weekly. Football is a contract. Oh it's a contractors. It's a different thing. Don't try to compare checks, them, bro. You get game checks. Yeah, yes. But he's going to get his game checks because he's already under contract. I'm talking about negotiating a new contract. Now, we can. I work for a union, so we negotiate contracts. That so ain't yes, the same. We, it's it the same. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. You just said it ain't the same. You it ain't the same. What's not the it same? It ain't the same. <laughs> negotiating contracts is the same as not weekly pay. Like, oh, yeah, of course, I work for UPS. We get paid every week. But when we go into negotiation with contracts with the company and the union, then it's we know that we're going to have a contract. We know we're going we to we try to get what we want from each other to, for us to both be happy. That's negotiation. I don't understand what y'all talking about. So what I'm saying is <laughs> he going to get his money regardless. His contract is the dance that you, everybody does. Everything you're saying, we already know that So part. then why would he be mad? That's what I'm saying. Why, why he mad if he knows that? Why y'all saying he gonna be mad? I didn't You're say going he was mad. Right. I just said he's gonna he's gonna go on with a different mindset. Is, yes. Why if season? he already knows that he's gonna get because paid? He That's what I'm asking. Know what he's going to get paid, and if it's where he wants to be. If he gets injured, he's not gonna get no money. Right. He don't have no I guarantee. Think, I don't. I don't agree with y'all. He don't, don't have no guarantee money. I don't agree with y'all. I disagree. We have a call up. <laughs> Please call in and bring this up. <laughs> Carla, you are on. What's up? What's up? What's up? What up? Who this? Hey, this is Danny, Big Shug. What's happening? What's up, bro? Hey, nothing, doing? man. I'm waiting on this. Uh, I'm good. I'm waiting on this Raiders season coming up. 
Raiders, that's your squad? Oh, yeah, that's my okay. boy. Super you already know. Hey, well, represent your squad because these two to my right and left. I got, I, got, I got a <laughs> question for you, bro. I'm glad you called in, Dave. I'm glad you got a question for you. Look, Raiders, uh, you look, uh, Go ahead. On behalf, of, on behalf of Raider Nation, we love to hate. <laughs> we take the, we take all the smoke, okay. and I this and I like smart. I like that we're flying I like that we're flying under the radar right now. No, Everybody's like sleeping it. on us. No, no, I mean they no, got y'all finishing fourth in the division there in that sense. Yeah. Right? They don't. Yeah, that's they don't know what's coming. I think they don't know what's coming. <laughs> they they don't don't know what's coming. But y'all got a good division. I want division, you to though. tell me this, bro. Yeah. Tell me this. Yeah. What's y'all record? What is y'all record at the end of the season? And how far y'all getting in the playoffs? See, I'm giving you playoffs. All right. <laughs> playoffs. Play, yeah, yeah. We gotta. If we don't make the playoffs, that's a damn shame. Right. After after making last year. So that that should be right. That should be a given. Um, how deep we go? At least conference championship. AFC championship game. At least. Hmm. At least. You said at least. So it ain't but one more At thing. Least. I think it's <laughs> If you don't make it, if we don't get to the conference championship, and that and that's, I mean, in in reality, as a, as a player, in your mind, if you don't win the championship, the season's a failure. However, being being realistic about the situation, how long it's been, if we don't get to the conference championship, the season was a failure. And and that's you know you got a new you got you you got a lot of tech, but your defense has to jail. right? So we'll we'll see what happens. But I'm looking at how good the defense the defensive line was last year, mm-hmm. and now we're even better. Yep, that's true. And the, and now we couldn't stop the pass to save our life last year. <laughs> but I think a good true. a good I'm, I'm gonna be real about it. A good, but a good part of that was was coaching. He he didn't. We didn't have. We had a very stubborn defensive coordinator. True. Mm-hmm. This is, this system isn't working, and I'm not gonna change it. I'm gonna just keep getting beat every week and hope Derek Carr can pull off a miracle. That's not a formula for success. Yeah, you don't want to put the ball right. in your hands at the end. Yeah. <laughs> right. And if and if you look like if you take if you take all the emotion and bias out of everything. And just look at you look at Derek Carr and put him next to Aaron Rodgers. That's the same dude. It's the same skill set. You sure? Hell no, nah, boy. You brother, better stop. what? <laughs> hey, 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 hold up, bro. Let you, me. You, you must. Hold, let me, you let just me put all the emotions into that shit. <laughs> 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 Take it let me out. Let tell you where I'm coming from. <laughs> This is what we gonna do, bro. Skill set wise, Derek Carr and Aaron Rodgers in the same room. Are you fucking serious? We ain't gonna put them in the same city. Let me (laughs) versus none. Let me finish. Let me finish and then tell me if I'm wrong. Go ahead. Now, will I will give I will give you this. Derek Carr has a has a fumble problem as far as protecting the ball. That part where they separate. But as far as skill set, it's the same dude. The environment. Is where they where they separate. Aaron Rodgers has had structure his whole career. Mm-hmm. Derek Carr has had chaos and dysfunction his whole career. And I don't care who the quarterback is, if they have chaos and dysfunction, their skill set means nothing. They can't succeed when they have nonsense going on twenty four seven around. Them. I agree so with that. To put I, up I, the yeah, but the skill set ain't the so, same. I agree for, with you saying, bro. On, on your, I get what your point is, mm-hmm. but we still not about to go, put Derek go, Carr and Aaron Rodgers in this same conversation. Nah, I'm going deeper, uh, more detail. <laughs> they skill set ain't the <laughs> same, bro. You ain't watching the two players. They ain't got the same oh. skill set. Aaron Rodgers is one, oh. probably the most talented, if not top three, talented ever. quarterbacks ever. Right. <laughs> Derek Carr ain't even close to that, bro. Like Dan Marino, uh, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers. The top three. Tony Romo. T- Derek Carr ain't close to that. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about skill set. What skill set did you see that Derek Carr has like Aaron Rodgers? His throws is as crisp, is as strong, is as accurate. He throws the same amount of interceptions, like more touch. This, like, it ain't nothing is, close. This is what I'm going to do about with Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> no. This is what I'm going to say about Aaron Rodgers. You, been, Hold up, bro. Let me get about Aaron Rodgers and no. Derek Carr. When Derek Carr got the ball, you'd be like, okay, I hope he don't mess up. When Aaron Rodgers got the ball, like, oh, I hope this motherfucker don't score. Right. That's the difference. That's one of the differences. Again, go back, 
but go back to structure. From the, all right, this is this is how it works. All these all these teams in the NFL are called organizations, right? Mm-hmm. Who wins the game? The most organized organization. This Green Bay, the Patriots, they're organized organizations. Even the Steelers. They're organized organizations, so you get the most out of your players. If Derek Carr has been on his own, basically, for most of his career, what do you expect? When, you're, when your offensive line is killing your drives, I'm when you got you on that. players I'm is you on running that. over. I'm not. He got, get I'm rid of the ball. Wait, wait, had, that's true, but hold up. I, this, this is what I was he's saying. He's never had the coaching to. He don't have no excuse now. He has everything. Tight ends, wide receivers, totally agree. running backs, another wide receiver. Yes. And a defense and a coach. Yes. He ain't got no excuse now. So if y'all don't make the playoffs, I'm going to tell y'all ass up. I'm just letting you know that. And 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 if, and if we don't make the playoffs, it's all deserved. <laughs> right. Because if you go back, go back to the one year where he had everything going the right way, when he had the line, he had the best line in the league. Yeah, Penalties was down. <laughs> Defense was good. But what happened? They went 12 and 4. And he right? Got he got hurt. Yeah. Before. I mean, he got hurt. It happens. Yeah. It's football. Players get. Aaron Rodgers broke his collarbone. Remember that? Yeah, I feel you, man. But hey. Well, it's like. So, I mean, he ain't, got no, ex- he ain't it, got no excuse now, bro. Like, real talk. And we're going to talk nope. about that. But hey, thanks for the call. He got everything in the world. Hey, no doubt. Hey, appreciate you. You got sexes, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, now. I still want to do that interview with your son, man. Real talk. Hey, we we ready. Okay. We're ready. By the weekend, so we'll knock it out. All right. All right. For sure. Thanks, man. Thanks for calling, brother. Yes, sir. I've been mean, knowing that dude 20 something years, bro. We're in the airport together. Right, that's what's up. Son of a beast, bro. Hey, we'll appreciate you, your man. call. But, but you don't wrong. ever say they got the same skill set. That shit is wrong. No one's going to agree. I shouldn't agree with that at all. <laughs> do, do, do. But everything else that you was saying, it made sense. Yeah, That's yeah. true for every That's quarterback. True. But right. the great one's still going to be great. Even Aaron when I, Derek Carr's in crunch mode. He was like, okay, I hope he don't fuck this up. Right. Aaron Rodgers, I'm a Cowboy fan, so I know, like, please don't get this motherfucker. No time with the ball. Right. Or please <laughs> let him fuck up. <laughs> right. You be he wishing. rarely fucks up. There's quarterbacks you wish fuck up, like right. Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers and them. He and then there's quarterbacks you hope don't fuck up. Like, the only time he really fuck up is usually when he playing the 49ers. <laughs> That's because he be still ha- he be mad that we we ain't pick him. Well, I'm mad we ain't pick him too. Mad. Shit. I, I Why the fuck we ain't pick him? He feel right to y'all too. Y'all went. <laughs> we picked Alex Smith. <laughs> Shout out to Alex Smith, but he looked better than Aaron Rodgers at the time in college. Right. Out of Utah, <laughs> no, he didn't. Well, his team looked better. That's what and we based Utah it off. Utah went undefeated. You, yeah. yeah. Aaron Rodgers beat USC, bro. Yeah. With Reggie Bush. So you're yeah. right. If he, we, <laughs> yeah. I'm talking like your boy. Nah, fuck that. Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> even though the team, Alex Smith team, looked good, the player, the individual talent yeah. still shines. Right. Right. <laughs> And I think sometimes we confuse that. That's why I think people be saying. Right. We're going to move on. So what's next? We're going to talk about the hippity hop. Hippity hop music. Oh, we got hip hop in the building. Yes, That's my motherfucking specialty. It's on you, fam. All right. So somebody did a list, fellas. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Hip Hop DX of the greatest Southern rapper of all time. Mm-hmm. We need y'all to call in on this. The number 702-551-5261. The greatest Southern hip hop MC, greatest Southern MC real of all hip-hop, time. Real Southern hip hop heads, I need y'all on this phone right now. All like right, this. so Scarface. they got Scarface at number one. Yeah. They're saying Scarface is the greatest Southern hip hop artist of all time. And he is. Uh-huh. I d- d- agreed to the T because he in my top five. So he ever he better than a lot of other East Coast, West Coast, North Coast right. uh, <laughs> MCs too. But they got Scarface on the list as number one. No, I'm going to just give you all the top five ones that they got. All right. All right. So Scarface number one. They got Lil Wayne at number two. Mm-hmm. T.I. Tip at number three. Mm-hmm. Pusha T at number four. Mm-hmm. J. Cole at number five. 
I'm gonna give y'all ten. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, J. Cole okay. at number five. Rick, Rick Ross at number six. What? Big Boy at number seven. Future at number eight. Why? Andre 3K at number nine. And Project Pat. They got Project Pat at number ten. They wait, are, wait, 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 hold wait. On, hold on. Andre 3000 is what? They got Andre at number nine. What? Hey, y'all call that in. Make y'all any call sense. in and tell us about what y'all think about the list Who about Scarface. Who came up with this list? Look, uh, this I was looking at this list. I said, yo, y'all Who ain't came have, up with the list. Y'all, hold on, Project Pat is before. Bun B or Pimp C or A Ball MJG Project, or Project uh, Matt is on the list. Juvie, Mystical, <laughs> Luda. Y'all got Luda. Where Luda? They got right. Luda. They got Luda at number. Where Crit at? They got Luda at number sixteen. Where's Crit? No, wow. they got Luda. They got Luda at eighteen. Wow. They, got, they got Crit on the list at twenty one. They don't got Jeezy on the list. What? I don't even understand. Who the hell made this list? They got Pastor Troy. So look, the list is crazy. Well, hold on. The first. All right, Who so Scarface, Lil Wayne. Made the list. Scarface and Lil Wayne, people will argue. And T.I., I've heard those three. I heard people say T.I. and Lil Wayne better than Scarface. I don't agree with that shit. But no. y'all call in at 702-551-5261 <laughs> and tell us what y'all think. Q Mac. I'm looking at the, the list. Who like, made the list, bro? This, <laughs> this list was made by um, Hip Hop. The Shade Room. The, sh- uh, the, shade, the shade Room. Hip-hop You're a Instagram. dumbass. Oh well, y'all ain't God. dumb because y'all got scar- Y'all got the f- most important one right. Well, the rest of that shit, they pulled out. Ass. Somebody what argued. The rest of that shit? They pulled out. Ass. Lil Wayne, Ti, they them arguable. But then they got they got Andre at number nine in the top ten. They probably don't got him higher because he ain't got that much music. Because he ain't did that lately. Exactly. Ain't no. But way. still have him at number so nine. It's a new, so it's a youngster. Ain't no. No, because Scarface ain't young. And Lil Wayne ain't either. No, them he, niggas he, been in the nineties, seventies, eighties. Ain't still no way. Scarface. Come on. Rick Ross. J. Cole? Yeah, J. Cole's up there. You don't, you don't agree with J. Cole? I don't disagree with J. Cole being in the, the top five. five. I, I do. Okay. <laughs> 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 Who you putting over him? You know he's from North Carolina or Say South some, Carolina. He's from one of them line Andre 3000 is going in the top five. Of course. Somebody calling. Call we got a caller. It's going to be good. Let's see what y'all got. Caller, what it do? What it do, caller? Yeah, I can chime in on that list, man. Uh, that list is flawed. <laughs> yes, it do is. you agree with the number one one, though? Uh, the number one person on the list. And who are you? State your name, gangster. Hey, 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 this, this is Quan, man. Quan. Yo, what up, Quan? <laughs> this is my boy, Quan. What up, dog? What up? All right. Quan, what you think? Man. Tell us what you think about Scarface being number one and then the list, the top first ten I named. I'm going to be non-biased, and we just going to go with lyrical content, cadence, just everything lyrically, if you turn the beat off. And if you turn the beat off, you have to put 3,000 in your top three. Facts. Honestly. Or now, if you just want to go for overall entertainment value, now you got to put Wayne at number one. You got Wayne at number one? You said Wayne. Yeah. Or entertainment. If you want to go straight, I'm not mad at that. Say, hey, I disagree, but I ain't mad. I, I ain't gonna argue that. If I put it on the map, like, hey, I'm able to go anywhere, then yeah, Scarface is number one. Well, they got it. Listen, see, because you made your own criteria. The criteria of greatest of all time means who has the had the greatest career, discography, what they saying, their lyrics, the respect. All of it. If you take all of that impact, Im- don't see. I think you'd be forgetting about impact. I think people That's forget right. about impact when they hear greatest. Mm-hmm. Greatest means impact. How much impact did you have? Not so, how many sales you Scarface okay. impacted Lil Wayne the rap. Impacted Andre Three K. Impacted Ti. Whoever you want to name, Rick Ross, T. Little Chris, all of them, Big Chris. Okay. So, and if you so listen to his that- discography, his discography is better than all to me. Oh. Almost everybody's. Oh. There's only maybe five oh. people who got a better discography oh. than me. So to respond to your criteria by impact alone, it's Wayne now. And this is coming from a very biased standpoint because I'm Scarface first. But impact alone is Wayne. I can't remember that. I can't. He <laughs> impacted Wayne. How the hell you figure? I understand. <laughs> that don't mean you ain't better. It You're means saying, yo, whatever I did, it. you wouldn't be you without me. So, yeah, I'm before you. So hear me that's why Jordan greater than Kobe to make So is Dr. J better than Michael Jordan? I right understand. No. Is Kobe greater than Jordan? Yes. We just say <laughs> so who it's impacted. Go ahead, Colin. 
No, so, so hear me out for a second. You just okay. say who impacted who. You say impact on the generation. And if you want to go who, like, who just totally did that, yes, Wayne. That's like asking, like, yo, who built this building? Oh, the dude who poured the concrete for the base first. That's a, that's a valid point. Yeah, uh, I mean, I agree with you. I understand your standpoint. I'm not going with Lil Wayne impacting. I'm not going with. I don't agree with you, but I don't. I'm not gonna argue. I got face as number one because I rather really listen to his music. What he's saying, Lil Wayne. Sometimes, what do he be talking about? What Lil Wayne be talking about? Nigeria hair. Hey. <laughs> what are you talking hey, yo. about? Hello. Yo. What up? Yo, what up? This trip. What up? What up, boy? What up, bro? What up? Shit, tell him, man. This, this, uh, this is why I fucking hate lists. This is why I hate when the right people don't make lists. First of all, the list is fucked up when it's that shady. Right, right. That's number one. And that's number one. And then how you get one person right, but the whole list is just. Thank you. Out of <laughs> <laughs> they hey, pulled out a hat. Because they, they only cared about the one. <laughs> well, some yeah, people argue Wayne is at two. And T.I. No, nah, Wayne, no, Wayne ain't in no damn two. <laughs> Who you got at number two, bro? No, number two? I mean, I can't even go in order, but how you skip past a ball, M J G U D K? They on the how list. How do you not be a practice? How do you not be up there? How, how, you, how do you not skip over? How do you skip over Little John as far as impact? True, Little John. Yeah. Damn, Lil John yeah, wasn't on him. Right, and that's crazy. Yeah, but he ain't no rapper, though, really. He's not a whole he, yeah, he, oh, Right. <laughs> no, this, this is top 25 Southern MCs. Lil John ain't an MC. Oh, MC? He's on songs. Yeah, but he ain't MC. You ain't putting him over them niggas out of name. None of them. Go ahead, call him. And, and why is Pusha T on that side of the map, like, as far as impact? I, I don't I don't understand that one either. They got Pusha T at number Southern. four. Push. Exactly. See, make that make sense. Our cast could have been over that. Nah, Push is from Virginia. That ain't the South. How yeah. you don't have C- <laughs> how you don't have CeeLo Green on there? That's CeeLo not the is South. on here. Well, well no. if you gonna put CeeLo Green, you should have just put Dungeon. Fans. But right after Bun B, 14, 15. I agree. A ball, A ball is twelve. Put a MJG, yeah. eleven. Pimp C. If we gonna if we gonna talk impactful, you if got you put who on MGK. here? Uh huh. Go ahead. I said, if you're going to talk strictly impact to pave the way for these artists that are But it ain't now, strictly impact. You, it's everything. You MC. take everything. Everything? Yeah. Not just impact, but impact is important. Lyrics, discography, longevity, flow, respect. If you take everything, then that makes it harder. That's why Scarface yeah. number one to me. Because if you take everything, I he, mean. I mean, it sounds like the list was popularity. They made them say that, but when they made the list, they went off popularity. They yeah, didn't after the they went straight popularity. Yeah. Y'all think so? So y'all, yeah. don't, so y'all don't got no respect yeah. for Wayne and T.I.? No, and I Cole don't know. Yes, 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 Rick Ross and Big Mo- uh, I if, I, if you take everything I just said, yeah. No. Yes. N- name Andre, you name, name Andre 3000 discography. That, ain't, that don't include Big Boy. Andre you can't. He don't have one. <laughs> That's my point. That's like Biggie. Biggie don't, don't get no one. argument. You got two albums, bro. Okay, cool. Andre 3000 changed <laughs> his you, whole you, way he even rapped and you, sing now and still sold records. I know, but, but name is discography out, outside of Big Boy. You, you can't. I said discography is part of that. Longevity. A lot. Andre, he got him at nine, and he ain't got no discography. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> to me, that's respect. You still, like, you, still, you would be you one if you did it. Scarface got like still, 15 albums. Go ahead, Colin. Go ahead. But you still can say Outkast. Yes. But Big Boy and Andre is only list. That. Big Boy is number seven. Andre is number nine. So they respected that. Big Boy over Andre. Okay. Well, you got we more can, discography we outside of Andre. I do not give a fuck. It's mine. Well, it's we should not mind. be giving. <laughs> we should not even be holding a debate or a conversation over something Shade Room came up with. That's true. Right. Yeah, it's the shade room, but they still got Scarface right. So email them. that's what I that's care my, about. That's about the only man that got right. <laughs> nah, what, Wayne call, number bro. two. Thanks for the call. Hey, I'm gonna play your shit. Keep listening, boy. For sure. All right, I'm trying to send it to people. Yeah, send it to people. Tell them I'm gonna play it. I might play it after All our right, next topic you. or before our next topic. Right after this one. All right, bro. All right, I got you. All right, thanks for calling Appreciate in. Appreciate your trip. Appreciate it, boy. Right shade on. room's a dumbass. 
So they didn't. They disagree with everybody on the list except Scarface, y'all. <laughs> right. They said fuck <laughs> Wayne. No, the second caller said Wayne's number one. I ain't arguing that. I could relate. I can understand. I'm not saying that Scarface is mine. Doing this shit when Wayne was born. When I need five, somebody else like, calling about this, man. Somebody else call in. We need a woman to call in. A woman five, who five, knows hip hop. Five five one five two six one seven zero two five five one five two six one. Call in and tell us where you think Wayne. Y'all gonna put Wayne in number one. Y'all gonna put Drake on here. He ain't even from. He, he from the from south the part of Canada. <laughs> Y'all gonna be like, it's Drake. No, it ain't. <laughs> well, he's been to Miami a couple times. That See, I agree with the first two on the list. I agree with Scarface and then Wayne. Then I'll, T.I., yep, I agree with the first three. Well, is Juvenile on there? Yes, he is, well, yeah. as he should be. 16, he after CeeLo. Mystical, 17. Yeah, I love Mystical. Where Big Crit at? <laughs> Big Crit is 21 after Currency. Well, and I don't, know, I don't think Big Crit should be after Currency. Well, I like Jeezy. Currency. Yep, who? Jeezy. They don't got Jeezy on the list. They, well, that, that they, they disrespected Where Jeezy. Gucci man at? Gucci on the list. <laughs> Over Jeezy. Gucci high. They got Gucci at number uh, 19. Where Quavo at? Quavo was on the list, and I don't like yes. it. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They got Quavo over Killer Mike. See, Killer Mike wow. on the list because Killer Mike should be on the list. But why, why Quavo, Quavo over Killer Mike? At why what? you on the list? The fuck? Why is Quavo <laughs> on the list? I agree with you. Quavo, we love y'all, but nah, y'all, y'all don't be on Y'all need to do more. No disrespect to Project Pat. What number is he again? Project Pat? They got Project Pat at number 10, bro. I Project Pat heavy. My brother loved Project Pat, but number 10? Not number 10. Over Luda? No. Look, over over, over Luda, over, over Bun B. On the list. Pimp C. <laughs> juvenile. <laughs> Uh, no Big to Project they Pat. got two like check Pat. Killer Mike. They got Pastor Troy at number twenty five. That he shouldn't even be on the list. Jesus. How Jeezy ain't on the list? Pastor Troy on the list. Yeah, y'all was wild. They got two chains on give the me list. Some doses, bro. Give me some doses. You want some music? Yeah. Some, some background track. Oh, all right. By Mr. God, Carlos that's, Norris. That's crazy. Shout out Los. Shout out to Los for the uh, for the background. This music. is Los. So call it's called in 702-551-5261. And we're gonna get into our uh Las Vegas local MCs. One of them just called up here. His name is Triple. But the nigga real name is Charles Oakley. <laughs> that nigga's a basketball player. <laughs> hey, I got the email. Like, Who the fuck Charles Oakley by, uh fucking texting e emailing me? <laughs> you rap? Charles Oakley, shout out to you. But we gonna call the nigga Triple. <laughs> Niggas don't like their real names. I shouldn't tell you that shit. <laughs> Charles Oakley, I, I'm gonna call him Charles every time. <laughs> I ain't even know that. Triple big homie. Triple. <laughs> All right, this song by Triple, the big homie. It's called, um, damn, it's called, <laughs> that's the wrong song. 702-551-5261, call in. We got no five bits. This, this is tri by Triple, this is called, Go Find That Man. Shout out to you, boy. Oh, Keep yeah, doing your thing. Move on demon hours like the coast nostra. It's this thing of ours. See, it's about my bread, my nigga don't tip me. Big strap, I want his head. Don't come back to the clip empty. Tell him go find that man. Go find that man. Go find that man. Go find that man. I need all my fans. Pick my bread. Go find that man. Go find that man. Go find that man. Go find that man. Yeah, when it's up, then it's up. Nortown niggas, man, they know when it's us. Vehicle rented with the windows tinted with a lift sticker. They know it was us. Lift that click clack, me my get back gun and clip black. Push your shit back. Can't find you, can where your bitch at. HN, I see, I just sit back. Hey. In the block and hop out too. Ain't about the money, nigga, it's about you. Time to show these boys what all that clout do. do. Strap down your throat with that mouth, dude. Bam. See, that's the reason these niggas be leaking. They tripping, they tweaking, they lying, they scheming. Got caught in treating, they pull up, they squeezing. You yelling and screaming, and now you're not breathing. Whatever now you're not breathing. You, whatever you thinking, I should you we with it with it i got a nigga that'll knock you off and won't even tell me he did it did it one thing i can't that shit hot bro <laughs> i like that hey triple he's good your thing. triple that shit that shit is good boy that shit hot. i need to be in a video nigga oh we go hey triple. put me in a video i'm we wearing all video, red bro. nigga I'm wearing all neon. Right. <laughs> all red, representing Young Tragic. Put me in the Rest video with a play the wings. Play the wings. <laughs> Shout out hey, Triple. Hey, that shit was hard, boy. I, hey, we won't call me for the video, nigga. 
Vegas artist for the, for the week. Triple the homie. That's what his name is. He got some videos out. Google him. I mean, uh, YouTube him. Oh, yeah. You might see him out with a chain wallet on. If you see him, tell the nigga, hey, good job, boy. <laughs> Somebody told me he looked like too short. <laughs> he a tall too short. <laughs> He's too tall. <laughs> Uh, shout out to you, boy. Shout Thanks for calling Trip. in, too. That's your hot boy. Support us. Shit, hey, share that. Listen to that. Go find that. We're going to do maybe another Las Vegas artist. Y'all might know her, too. She's right a female. Right we on. like females, too. Right on. Female MCs. That's you hot. All right, Triple. Good shit, boy. For sure. We're going to move on. We're going to get some more calls at 702-551-5261. Call in. Ask us anything. You can ask us anything. Where the party at? You can, you can tell us where the party at, where the pool party at, where the bikinis at, Who where the clothes at. Who's Who trying to get whooped in spades tonight? Oh, yeah, spades. <laughs> Show it. We, we spades players, we be we don't never find them. Y'all scared. Marshawn. Let us oh, know. <laughs> Marshawn and Mo. Uh-oh. Let us know. Moving out. Sean Johnson. We're going to bring up Coach Prime. Dion Jacksonville State University. He's doing they have his own salary. Out of the four year, we have a caller. <laughs> I love it when they call in. Caller, Hello. what it do? New phone, who this? Good morning, good morning. This is Soleil. How's everybody doing? Hey, good. what's up, girl? How Hi, doing? how you doing? Good, good. All right. What so, you, just calling to give you guys a shout out. And uh, my number one on the list would be Scarface as well. That's what uh, you're talking about. That's go. why we fucked with you, girl. Because if you'd have said Drake, <laughs> one, not fucked with you. <laughs> no, no. Drake, Drake, with, Drake, Drake is very low on my list. Like, he cool, no, I don't but, diss Drake. Know. Drake is a... I'm not, I'm not right, dissing right, him. He, he's he's great, but, <laughs> but he's not He's not even in my top ten, I would no, say. I ain't mad at that. I'm with you when you write. But yeah, so, Scarface is that guy. Who's your team? Do you have a team? Uh oh. Oh yes, absolutely. Go Rams. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Champion. I see y'all. Now you. The L.A. Rams or the St. Louis Rams? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the L.A. Rams. <laughs> California all hey, day. Hey, St. Louis, Louis Rams won one too. Don't forget. Oh, we won't. But we talking. Cur- we currently are the defending champions. So yes. Yes. Yeah. So you can talk. Other than that. You got Scarface and you got the Rams, so you winning. How you doing? What you think about Usher versus Chris Brown? Who you like? Usher all day. Oh, all day. That's an easy answer. See, you ain't have to think long. Who people you think don't long, have to I'm think just, about that. I like suspicious. Chris Brown, and Chris Brown got moves. You know, I think it would be a good, you know, performance, but I choose Usher over CB. There you all go. Day. There you go. Got a question for yeah. you, ma'am. What do you yeah. have your team at this year as far as record-wise? I'm just going to say we're going to go to the Super Bowl again. I know y'all yeah, oh my God. that. Okay. But you, that's, that's your record going to be. That's good fandom. <laughs> What's your record going to be? She's not like a um, cowboy okay. fan. We going to the bowl. All right, delusional. <laughs> cowboy fan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be um, a cowboy fan. I'm not mad at your fandom. Do you know the Rams and the Cowboys both won more recently than the 49ers? Kadoosh. Do you know that the Cowboys yeah, should be thank in you, no thank conversation you for that. Thank with you for nobody? That, yes. <laughs> The Rams won so, twice before y'all. <laughs> where the pool party at? Where the pool party at? I don't know. Probably somewhere on the strip. Uh, <laughs> where the Spades game at? I don't know. Y'all don't play Spades up there at Lucky Club? They don't let you play cards. Don't let you, play in there. you can't oh, play they card don't. games. Right. Oh, They'd be like, um, nah, that's, I, you might be gambling. <laughs> I have to get back with you on that. No, well, we appreciate you calling, the call. representing the Rams and saying Scarface and Usher. You good in my book. You one, agree. One, one more thing. C4, what are the uh, fire bets for today? Ooh. Oh, shit, okay. Nice. Thank you for that. Early. Okay, so I got the fire bets. No, I'm not doing at the end of the show, but we close to it. I know, I know. So I just, you got to repeat for me, but I got go you, ahead. I got you. Okay, so today we're looking at taking the Astros and we're taking the Mets. Let's go. Astros, Money anyone line? say? As, the Astros and the New York Mets. Money line? Money lines. Both. So money line. Money line. line. Okay, so the Mets. I always like them under. Do you like them under today? She said I um, do. I do. She said I the know. under. I like it um, under. What is it under? Seven and a half. I like it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I like could, that. Yeah, I do. Could, I, didn't, I didn't look, but. 
that's how it like, depends that on what people. Blake Snell shows up for San Diego. If they start mm-hmm, rocking mm-hmm. him early, that game's gonna fly over. Because once you get a mm-hmm. San Diego bullpen, you gonna really, you gonna get some you gonna get some runs. I think so you would shy that. away from the under today. Uh if it was eight, I would have took it. It's something to have. It's basically the same principle. No, because you <laughs> have is, to it. Is. Right. No. <laughs> no. So no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would. I would say. Um, I would say stick with the side. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. All right. With the well, money line. But okay. if you like well, the under, you know, you parlay that with it. But no, Or yeah, do another yeah. bet and take the under. Yeah. Then you might win both. Ah, if they win, and it's yeah, under. I might be just do, might not parlay and do them both straight. And then, you know. Exactly. That's usually the that's best way. That's how you way. do it. Yep. Yeah, that's yep, kind of yep. my motto. That's a good, that's a good idea. Yeah. Win this money, girl. Uh, Win the money. Right. When you win, tell everybody <laughs> on social media. Say, like, hey, listen to them boys on Saturday no, morning. I'll be following the fire band. One of them is handy, the other two is all right. <laughs> it's good. It be, right. So, yeah, um, you guys keep doing your thing. Shout out. All right. Thank Congratulations you. Congratulations on the new level. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you Have a great weekend. Later. Bye. It's going to douche. Y'all heard it. What? Mets and the Astros. All right. Early. I got one more Vegas artist for y'all. Well, let's get it. This is a female. If y'all been on the scene for a while, y'all might know her. Her name, she goes by, is Misfit. Now, that is. she is my cousin, but she ain't getting played just because she's my cousin. <laughs> she's she getting played because she dope. Right on. Misfit. This song is called um, Bad Love. Let's get it. And it's hard. And here it goes. Misfit. Check her out. Shout out to you, girl. If you're listening, call up. Tell call us what up. you was thinking when you made this song. For sure. Here it goes. Bad Love by Misfit. Let me get it right. <laughs> Look like I'm having. All right, here it go. Come on, man, on that cricket phone. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my cricket phone, guys. <laughs> Boss lady ain't paying us yet. You must got, got an iPhone. <laughs> Regular iPhone. Turn up. Turn up the turn up the ox. What's up? Docks. Misfit. Here you go. Oh. Back out. Oh. Oh. Bad love. She can't feel it every time. Got the long intro, I'm that's 90 shit. Like that <laughs> I gave her just what she liked. Might take a chance. Gotta let him sing first, let him do his thing. Come in at a minute. When I met him, everything was so pathetic. When we spoke, every word was so poetic. Every word he speaks now is so pathetic. I'm getting tired of them lies, so forget it. I guess I'm Who's she talking about? She talking about you, you niggas over here? I guess some roses I deserve. I don't you know. ain't send them. Did you get that last <laughs> message that I sent you? Everything you own is burning up in your centra. Hey, I'm misfit. I'm nothing <laughs> like these other chickens. Come and vibe with the real one. Take an expedition. Cool world, huh? You don't know who to trust, but the feeling so amazing when we touch peep it real bitch keep it thorough till i perish my only king get crowned forever cherish listen these hoes fake these hoes don't know your worth naked home cooked meal when you come from work Sit your shout out to the women who do that go to work i'll be your peace shout baby out real. Out shout out to the women who cook misfit you talking to him call in tell us what you was thinking who you talking about you better not be talking about my boy <laughs> who you think you talking about my boy she knows who my boy is. Call in. <laughs> he might not want to be known on the radio. <laughs> Shout out this bitch. That nice. shit was hard, girl. Keep keep it going. All right. Call in. Tell us what I you was thinking. Performed before. So yeah, me too. Back. She was at the uh, Brooklyn Bowl. She yeah. performed. She performed before uh, before Dizzy Wright, I think. Uh, okay. Shout out to Misfit. She be doing her thing. She do everything. She cook hot tamales, hair, uh, hot tamales. Art. She take pictures. She do all of it. I want Shout out to her. Fifty. <laughs> I can use Call it, girl. Turkey, turkey though. Turkey. The number is seven zero two five five one five two six one. Show. What we got? What we got, fellas? 
He coming up on it, man. We got a little bit more. Yeah, we'll hit a little bit more. We'll yeah, a little, little bit more. Wait for somebody to call in. Right Maybe on. one of y'all could call in. We know y'all ain't winning nothing this week, but hey. call in anyway. We got ah. no tickets this time. Only right. we got is some a, t-shirts for y'all. Only we got is a ass whooping we can give you in spades. <laughs> See, you want to have open space? Seven then call two, me. Five, 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 one, five, two, six, one. That's funny. Cause I'm gonna cut you. Cut you. <laughs> cut you. I use reneging as a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call them Shug. A doses the great. You gotta say the whole thing. You'll just say blowfish when you see Hootie and Blowfish. Yeah, I just say Hootie. Who the fuck is in blow? Hey, that's Hootie. Hootie and Will. Hootie, we're Blowfish. Uh, Hootie, I don't wanna be with you. <laughs> I was I just still tripping. He had AJ English shooting in the video. That part. Uh, he real. <laughs> gotta have somebody shooting. We got you. I want. I want to be shooting in. Triple video. Y'all see me uh, on. LeBron James and Drew Lee tearing them dudes up. LeBron out there <laughs> making him like 42 on them. 40 and a lot. A triple double like Ice Cube. 14, <laughs> something like that. He said fucked around and got a triple double on these Drew boys. That's fucked up. Now they got to go clock in at Walmart and talk about how they look. I'll play with LeBron James today. <laughs> LeBron would have scored 50 on you. Both of y'all did. I got all six. I'd have fouled him. <laughs> all right, six. I grabbed the big thing. I'd have drop kicked him in the back. <laughs> all six. Grab him or tell him. Whisper Duante West in his ear. You ever seen a, <laughs> hey, like Lance. That's what Lance Stevenson did. You wrong, bro. Lance okay. Stevenson went in the front ear and whispered. <laughs> you ever seen a fat <laughs> nigga drop <laughs> kick somebody? <laughs> oh, that'd be that'd be must see TV. <laughs> that, that's gotta be on TV. Hey. Delonte West in LeBron's ear make him just go 12. Well, you wrong. <laughs> Check this out. Juan Soto just won home run derby, right? Yeah. He just, turned off, he just turned off 400 million with Damn. Washington, right? Uh-huh. 400? He went to the home run derby. Like they ain't even charted him a flight, bro, because he turned down that money. Wow. His agent said that. Yeah, he out of there. You are a whole baseball organization. Yeah, you can't be petty like Washington that. Nationals, are you serious? Y'all are trash. I mean, they gonna be petty like that. <laughs> y'all might as well stay in Montreal be and been to Expos. Look, they dumbass. organizations do petty shit. They just don't. It don't get covered. The player gotta tell you about it. Or, well, I guess it didn't get covered. The, the manager told him so. Yeah. Yes. I expect, they like four hundred million. What you want? Five hundred? Yeah, is, motherfucker. Is, I want a half this a This is your He's star worth player. <laughs> he is worth five hundred million. This is your star player who, mind you, helped you win a, cha- a World Series. So, y'all pay them. They like, shit, we gave them 400 million. Why must we supposed to give them? Who, who got more than that? I'm sure it's teams that got I more than Julia. that. Who but got ain't about to play more than that? We getting close to the end, big homies. Hey. So, they like, look, I feel them, though. Like, look, we ain't giving you a Ball half a billion. All day and she like, hey, shut that shit down. She like, <laughs> she like, talk bad about the Cowboys. I'm like, I already shut do that every up, day. Boy. <laughs> no more Cowboy Conversations. We ain't talking about them no more. Shut your ass up and go home. <laughs> Everybody follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Please. UD All Stars. C4 need to change his uh, Twitter handle. I mean, his IG handle. <laughs> my, my, my Instagram handle is C4 Nate from the 618. <laughs> and that's that a shit. rhyme for y'all that <laughs> don't know nothing. <laughs> Again, download the app, the hot 702.5 app. In the Apple Store, Google Play Store, so you can listen in and chat with us online doing the show. Q Mecca. Two techs up. I'm here. I'm holding you down. It's uh, Scarface Appreciation Day. All day. Yes, so I'm going to play my favorite song by Scarface. Uh, when you see me, play this at my funeral. It's called <laughs> Never. It's called Never. <laughs> C4 Nate. Scarface. Hey, C4 Nate, saying peace out. Y'all have a good weekend. My and brothers. I. And Big Sug, a.k.a. Sugar Thoughts the Great, a.k.a. Mr. Tell Your Friends About Me. The Scarface Appreciation. The Undrafted All-Stars Radio Show. Yes, show sir. Radio. Peace, Every y'all. Every Saturday, 11 a.m. PST. And if y'all want some good fries, go down to DB's. <laughs> oh, them, them fries are bomb. Man. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. We Scarface. out here. Have a great motherfucking weekend. Have a great weekend. <laughs>